Alright folks, this is Pitching Ace 88. We are back. Playing criminal case on Facebook, case number 33, killing me softly. Heading on to chapter number two. Can't believe a hacker managed to block me. This has never happened before. I just when I was about to discover who your victim secret admirer was, too. I had almost entered their friend net profile. Alex, you've got to find a way. The secret admirer may be linked to Ollie's death. I know, and don't you worry, Ace. The hacker blocked me, but I tracked them down. I'm contacting them on chat right now. Haha, <laughs> they didn't expect me to contact them. What do you want me to write, Ace? Tell that hacker we want to speak with them on video chat. Ace, let's tell them who they're messing with. They're not going to do that. You're a dummy. Stupid. Alright, Ace. Alex says we can video chat with the hacker on this tablet computer. Hello, Mr. Hacker. Can you hear us? Hi there. Your tech guy just explained the situation to me. I have to remain anonymous, but you can call me the artist, okay? Well, the artist. We want to know why you, you blocked our hack. You obviously detected the presence of our police software, so why interfere with the cr criminal investigation? Interfere? Heck no. I want to get your attention so I can assist you. Your software is way too visible on the FriendNet servers. Assist us? So you have access to the FriendNet profile created by your victim's secret admirer? Well, not yet, but I can tell you that that profile was last accessed from the comic book shop. The owner has free access computer for his customers. Hmm. That does sound like an interesting lead, but how do we know you're telling us the truth? Well, I guess you don't. I'll contact your tech guy once I've cracked the pro pro profile password, okay? Well, Ace, I'm not sure we can trust that cheeky little hacker, but a little comic book shopping never hurt anyone, right? Alright, let's investigate this comic book shop. Oh, lots of stuff. Ocarina, right here. Bowling pin, torn paper. I don't see that right away. Football, speaker, traffic cone. Paper, there we go. Traffic cone, speaker, bowling pin, ocarina football. Perfect. Oh, can you give me a card or oh good, experience. I found a pile of torn paper. Well that's strange. The rest of the shop is so freakishly tidy. Think you can piece it back together? <laughs> Heck yeah I can. may take me forever, but I, I'll definitely be able to piece it back together. Oh, interesting. I knew you could piece that all back together. And look, it's a poster of our victim. Look how it's been defaced. This only can be the handiwork of someone who had fresh grudge against our victim. Ah, oh, that must be the shop owner coming out of the stockroom. Let's ask him about the poster and about his computers. I'll bet you he's a musician too. Mr. Parker, do you know who might have torn left this torn into face poster of Ollie in your shop? Well, that, uh, oh, what's the use? I give up, I confess. It was I, Kevin Parker, purveyor of fine comics and exquisite superhero apparel who killed Ollie's poster. I simply adored Ollie office, Oliver, and wanted him to sign this limited edition poster at last night's concert. But that snooty hipster plain refused to give me an autograph. He mocked me and called me a sad old geek. I was heartbroken. After the concert, I came back here to drown my sorrows with a few martinis and unleash my wrath on the poster. Now, if you don't mind. Not so fast, Mr. Parker. Major Ace also needs the names of all your recent computer users. It's of crucial importance to our investigation into Ollie's murder. Oh, well, I never keep records of my free access computer users. This isn't one of your big brother surveillance zones, you know. This investigation is getting weirder and weirder. 
Wait, is that my phone ringing? Sorry, Ace, I better get this. Jones, have you solved that pesky hipster case yet? Paparazzi are camped outside the station, and I'm losing my cool. Not quite, Chief, but Major Ace will have it solved real soon. We already know that our victim was poisoned by a fellow musician. Even I know that. How did the killer administer the poison? I didn't materialize in your victim's body by magic. Uh, of course, I was just talking to Ace about it, and actually, they're waiting for me, Chief. I gotta go. Darn, Ace. We better run, return to that concert hall and figure out how the killer poisoned Ollie. The Chief wants all the gory details ASAP. Of course he wants them. He's the chief. <sighs> Let's see what do we got here. Broken glass, that's gotta be something. If I can figure out where the heck it was. Oh, back here. Ladder, knife. Cool. Skateboard. Rock. Nail. Probably should have found everything before I did that. There's a nail. There's a skateboard. Oh, it actually says... Oh my gosh, it says rock. Oy vey. Aha, you've struck gold. The killer must have used the knife you found to remove the drum skin before arranging all his corpse in that drum frame. Let's just hope they were kind enough to leave a little souvenir on the knife. And you found some broken glass next to the drum. Where do you think that came from? Well, Major Ace, if you figure that out, the next donut's on me. Well, I say you need to start getting that donut. Because I'm going to bet money. Money. That I know what this is. That's that's a beer can. I'm gonna almost bet that that's what it was. Wow, that was lucky. Nice. Hmm, there weren't any clear fingerprints on the knife you found by the drum, but that great greasy residue on the handle might give something important to our killer. Let's send the sample you took to Grace. Hmm, let me see. Is that 12 hours? I'm shocked. Alright. So let's go examine the broken glass. Okay. Okay, obviously this one goes here. I don't read don't read into the fact that I could restore that beer bottle a lot faster than the other things. <laughs> Those shards of broken glass you found next to the drum came from a beer bottle. But they only serve drinks and plastic glasses at the concert hall bar. Maybe we should dust it down for fingerprints. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Yep, we do. I'll bet you it's going to be Ollie's, but it's going to be someone else's too. Well done, Ace. You've uncovered a perfect set of prints on that beer bottle. Alex will definitely get us a clear ID on these. Yeah, he will. Three hours. Alright, man. Well, guys, stay tuned as we finish this stuff up, and we will finish off Chapter 2. See you guys later. All right, folks, we are back. Time to go figure out what this grease is all about. The greasy residue you collect from the knife you found on the crime scene is roasted peanut oil. The lab's analyst, arch enemy. It smudges fingerprints beyond all recognition. Well, that's not good. Well, so that's why we couldn't lift any fi clear fingerprints. Well, yes, the clever was wasn't clever enough to wear gloves, but their snacking habits have saved them this time. Well, that might be so, but that nut-loving killer better not get too confident. I know Ace is hot on their trail. Oh, you better believe it, I am. I'm so hot on their trail, I'm almost done with Chapter 2. And I got like 14 stars. I identified two sets of prints on the beer bottle you found at the crime scene, Ace. 
One set belongs to your victim, and the other is registered to a certain Riley Davis. He has a history of drug-related offenses. That's why he was in our files. Riley Davies. That good-for-nothing stoner? You couldn't imagine the state we found him in. Well, if you let me finish... Oh, shoot. Detective Jones. You'll see it gets even more interesting. I asked Grace to analyze the liquid residue inside the beer bottle, and she found traces of stri... stri I cannot pronounce that. Strychinine. Ollie Stry. I'm just going to call it Stry. Ollie was clearly poisoned with the contents of this bottle. Aha! Come on, Ace. I think it's time to drag R Riley out of the cells for a little chat. Hopefully he's sobered up by now. I hope he has. Let's go talk to this fool. Dude, I've been in here for hours and I'm famished. Can't a guy at least get a bag of peanuts to fend off the munchies? And you can't hold me like this without a reason? Well, it looks like we just found two reasons, dude. Number one, you neglected to tell us that you and Ollie had a big argument after the concert. Yo, I was like totally tweaked out. Did you expect me to remember every detail? And since when is arguing a crime? Well, it all depends on the context. When your fingerprints are all over a beer bottle that was the instrumental in Ollie's murder. Whoa, hold on. Ollie bought those beer bottles from the diner before the concert. It's a group technic tradition to enter gigs with a beer on stage. I handled a bottle to Ollie after the stage curtain was drawn, so of course my prince came up on his bottle. Well, I can't help but wonder if he's telling the truth about handing Ollie that bottle. It seems a little too convenient, don't you think? Yeah, but it's always convenient, and it always kind of gets us to the other way. So, anyways, Major Ace, Irma's gone missing. Nobody knows where she went. Wait, didn't Riley tell us that the beer that killed Ollie was bought from Ir Irma's diner? If he's telling the truth, we better find her quickly. Oh no! Headed on to Chapter 3. Alright guys, well I'll see you guys in a little bit. This has been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.